Hey, how's it going? I thought I'd uh, enjoy the view. It's a very blue ocean right in front of me, which I feel very motivated to jump into shortly. And so I'm lounging in this very blue city and just wanted to shoot a quick vlog. I'm a great believer and a big fan of the law of attraction. Um, and I think it gets a bad rep um, for people sometimes who uh, I come across and have a bit of a, uh, a discussion with them and sometimes I'll hear, I'll, I'll hear people say, I don't believe it, it's, it's a load of rubbish. And I think that when that happens, it's because of lack of information about it or lack of understanding about the completeness of the law of attraction. And the clue is actually in the word itself, in, in attraction. And what a lot of people miss out on is, a, is, is they think that if you just like sit and meditate and um, you know, think hard enough that you're going to magically attract what you want to you. Well, that's half of the equation. And the other half is the thing that most people don't do, which is action. So in the word attraction, if you remove the ATT, I think, then you're left with action, right? So you can uh, have features or attributes that attract people or, or, uh, or situations to you, but you have to be the catalyst. You have to be the, uh, the purveyor or, or the, the, uh, the source of change for that to happen. So in just very simple terms, if you want to attract uh, a good partner into your life, uh, someone who has the qualities that you, you desire, you yourself have to have those qualities in yourself first and attract someone to you who shares similar values to you. You, know? you have to uh, work out in the gym to make yourself look better or, or to eat healthy or to have a healthier lifestyle so that you look good and you look attractive, therefore attracting the person that you want to you. Another thing that I wanted to also talk about is uh, the idea of, and this is where I kind of fell down in the beginning with this, is by just uh, focusing on the external but forgetting about the internal. They're both important in manifesting and attracting things that we want into our lives. So, for example, I believe in being kind to people, right? But if you only focus on the external, in being kind to others, but not being kind to yourself, what you can sometimes get is people taking advantage of your kindness and, and abusing your kindness, okay? So, there ha I believe in, in, in it being holistic. So if you want people to respect you, then you have to show respect to others, give respect to others, but you have to also have boundaries within yourself and, and to respect yourself as well. Not first and foremost and not exclusively, but to have it holistically. So respecting others and respecting yourself. If you want love from others, then you have to be loving. You have to emanate that love vibe to others. And that's what attract, attracts others to you. But for it to be a healthy kind of love, you also have to have a great deal of self-love and self-respect for yourself first. So it's holistic and it, it all requires action to do because although it's not physical, um, it's a state of mind. You, know, you have to manifest what you want by combining, sharing it with the world. What it is that you want. You want love, you want respect, you want wealth, you want money. Then you've got to share and emanate abundance, generosity, and it comes back to you. But at the same time, you also have to be generous with yourself. You shouldn't be depriving yourself. You shouldn't be shortchanging yourself. So I think it's a beautiful um, symphony, if you will, of combining all of those things together with action to get what it is that you want. Okay, so anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you now. I just felt very inspired by the sunshine. <laughs> so I've been manifesting sunshine and, and uh, being sunny with my disposition, but I also feel very happy inside. So on that note, I'll see you a, a little bit later on. And for now, I'm gonna jump into the ocean and enjoy it. Bye.